Hey, it's Amanda Gilbert with Churchill Mortgage, and I wanted to give a quick overview of the difference between the federal funds rate and mortgage rate. They both play important roles in the animal kingdom, that's debatable, but they are not the same animal. The Federal Reserve rate cut affects short-term interest rates like credit cards, auto loans, HELOCs, and the overnight movement of money from banks to banks. You know what's not short-term? A mortgage. Banks will lend on cheap, on shorter terms, but a bank is going to have a hard time lending money to someone at like 2% rate for 30 years because banks out here are trying to make money too. So the Federal Reserve rate cuts like the one we just saw are designed to boost the U.S. economy. Well, when the economy is great and strong, that can actually increase mortgage interest rates. So the Fed rate cut can sometimes have an opposite effect on mortgage rates and they go up. Wild, right? So what's keeping rates low now is the coronavirus. And over the past month, we've seen some really low rates. But a market correction can come at any time leading to higher rates. So be sure you're working with someone that you trust and reach out anytime with questions. Have a great day.